Good evening. Good evening. I think I'm the just about the only thing standing between you and dinner, and I'm well aware of that. My wife got a chuckle when she looked in the program and saw that my name was just below entertainment. She said, you're the entertainment? I said, I've been entertaining you for 34 years, dear. And uh, it didn't get that kind of response in the hotel room. But I'm working on it, guys. It's great to be here. And uh, really, I only have a few minutes. There's so much to say and so little time. Uh, I just want to comment uh, first, before I get started on Sam's and Walmart. Uh, it's an extraordinary organization. I share that with you from the outside in. I've worked with the Sam's and Walmart people for virtually my whole career. And now I, I'm retired. There's no compelling reason to acknowledge, it, uh, acknowledge them other than it's a wonderful organization. And in Sharon Orlop, you've got a woman who's all in. And the fact that she's all in and part of OFC uh, speaks volumes about what you're doing here because she has to be selective with what she does. She has no choice. There aren't enough hours in the day. But the fact that she's picked OFC and she's got her team here, she's all in and you can count on her. And uh, you've got a winner there. Uh, did I say that right, Sharon? That's just the way she coached me. I'm sitting right next to her. Uh, really. Uh, there's so much on, uh, that I'd love to share with you. I've been involved in student organizations for a long time. Uh, past chairman of Students in Free Enterprise. Many of you have worked with Students in Free Enterprise. In fact, that's where we first met. And uh, you're doing extraordinary things here. And the more I learn, the more excited I am for you and for our country. Uh, I just have two thoughts around leadership that I'd like to share with you tonight, and I think they're important. Leadership can be a very challenging idea. There are thousands of books on leadership. There are leaders in this room who will give you all kinds of perspectives on what it needs to be a leader. There are amazing football coaches that talk about what it, what it means to be a leader. There are corporate leaders, there are politicians. Well, you know, you all know leadership when you see it. And I'd like you to reflect back for just one minute and think about someone who made a profound influence in your life. A teacher, a coach, a parent, a grandparent, maybe even a boss in, an, in a corporate environment. Think about that person. Think about that person. Now what I'd like you to do, I'm going to risk this, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to ask you to share a thought in just a minute with the person sitting next to you about how that person influenced you in your life. And they may have only just barely touched you, but they had a profound influence on you in your life. So I'd like you now to just turn to the person next to you, share the name of that person, the person you're thinking of with them, and why they made a profound influence on you in your life. You've got one minute, so you better be quick. One minute each. I imagine all the Sam's and Walmart people are talking about Sharon Orlau. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Just got the blood moving a little bit here. You know, you know what leadership is all about. You lived it, you experienced it. These people had a profound influence on you in your life. 
And there are a few things you'll, you'll remember about those people. First of all, they were there to help you. When you engage with them, they started from a paradigm of how can I help? How can I help? And they had a profound influence on you and your life. The second thing you'll remember about those folks is that they were tough-minded on standards and tender-hearted with people. They had high standards for you. They expected the best. They expected the best. But they were also there for you, and you knew they cared. However they manifested that caring behavior, you knew they cared. They were tough-minded on standards, and they were tender-hearted with people. How can I help tough-minded on standards and tender-hearted with people? The third thing you would observe, and I'm sure there are many more, is that they made it personal. They were engaged. They showed up. They were alert. They were in the moment. They were paying attention to what you had to say. Okay, how can I help? Tough-minded on standards, tender-hearted with people, and they made it personal. I guarantee you, if you apply yourself as the leaders of tomorrow, if you show up, you show up with a how can I help attitude, an authentic how can I help attitude, you are tough-minded on standards, tender-hearted with people, and you are fully engaged in the moment, you will help us build a better world. And I'm counting on each and every one of you to do that. Thank you very much. Have a good night.